Uh, I think it was South America. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. And if you look at the traditions, you'll find direct connections between Native Americans and North American and their teachings and the South Americans. So whoever came through, came through the Americas mm -hmm. and deposited their traditions. And then, of course, it was adapted to that indigenous culture. Right, right. Well, this is just lovely. And uh, how do you, do you, do you lay these out on an altar when you do your work? Or? Well, it's everywhere with me. So when mm -hmm. I'm working in my healing room, I use it. I have it mm -hmm. open. When I'm working with my students, I have it open. And each student learns how to make their own mesa. So, uh, if someone were to come to you as a student, how long are their courses? Well, the, the, the initiation, the, the, the initial series is uh, three sessions, uh -huh. and they are, uh, uh, they're each one day. Uh -huh. And uh, they usually fall in separate months. Sometimes we combine them. So there is a, uh, they're like from 10 to 5 in the morning, but in the second one we go to the mountain, so that's a little longer. Mm -hmm. The third one they learn how to make the mesa. Mm -hmm. Following that, they're invited to join an IU, and IU means community. Uh -huh. And in that, we then meet once a month and uh, the, I, for about a year. And it, we skip the summer months, but we're, we're there otherwise. And in that time, they learn the various uh, traditions, the initiations, the mm -hmm. healing practices, and so on. And then there's a second level in which they learn to, uh, for all intents and purposes, channel the spirits mm -hmm. of the mountains. Mm -hmm. so. so I'm curious, how does one then finally say, I am a shaman. Oh, good question. <laughs> one usually never says one is a shaman. <laughs> if you'll notice on my card, I say I'm a shamanic teacher and healer right. and counselor. People call you what they okay. feel you are. I, I, I call myself, I do shamanic work. Uh -huh. um, I, I suppose at some point you have to say you're a shaman. Um, sometimes we, uh, we're, we've been taught, I think, to our, to our disadvantage that owning our own power is there something wrong with that? Oh. But um, I guess if I have to say it at some point. I'm a shaman. I do uh -huh. shamanic work. I, I do that. That's the work I, I work I would for. think so. I guess. <laughs> so a student just reaches a point where they feel that they have um, mastered to a degree what they need in order to be effective in the work. And I encourage them to do it as early as possible. Mm -hmm. One does not have to be cooked. Okay. We're going to wait to be cooked. It'll never happen. The world needs us so badly that we need to do what we can. And most uh -huh. of the time, people now that are coming to me are already doing something already anyway. Yeah. So they're incorporating this right away. Oh, they're okay. teaching their children. If they work with children, they bring in the stones. The stones, they react to this immediately. Hmm. So um, they listen to them. They work with them. That's the whole idea, uh -huh. to play with them and, and to get familiar with their, their energy. Well, this is just, just beautiful. And uh, so if someone were, wanted to uh, uh, find out more about you, look at your schedule, get in touch with you, or, or do you do private work? Yes, I do, I do private, private sessions. Uh -huh. uh, I work with all these shamanic techniques. I also do inner child work mm -hmm. and past life regression and so on. Um, and uh, if they would like to get in touch with me, I have uh, my phone number is 626-335-1018. Uh, I have a school. Mm -hmm. It's called School for the Shamanic Arts, and that's my website. And that is? Uh, School for the Shamanic Arts, S-C-H-O-O-L yeah. for the shamanic... Dot com, dot net. Dot com. Dot com. For the shamanic arts dot com. Mm -hmm. and, uh, my, and I have my email address on there. All right. And they can connect with me through And that. your schedule is on there and how yes. to contact yes. you and, All the and so forth. Well, Hester, this has been just... So fascinating and so interesting. I could just go on for hours. Well, Unfortunately, we don't have we hours. We don't have hours, Anita. And I want to thank you, too, for the opportunity yeah, to do this. This, is, this has been fun. Thank you for, for being with us. Maybe we'll uh, ask you back again soon to, to continue a, a little more depth. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Please remember to subscribe to our show so that you don't miss a minute of all the wonderful guests that we have for you. Thanks again, Esther. Thank you.